Almost every lock is built basically the same. You got the hasp, you got the the body, and some sort of key, whether it's a, a, a rotate rotating a combination lock or a, a dial combination lock, or it requires a key. But they all require the same kind of maintenance. So that's what we're going to do today. So we we have a can of just electronic air so you just take that blow the dust out of it that's pretty basic the thing about these locks is you can't get the key out unless it's locked so we'll take the key out and I got this three in one you, you, you never want to use an oil in a padlock because it all it does all it's gonna especially if it's gonna be outside like on the back of the truck it's just going to gather up any dust or road debris or whatever. So 3-in-1 has this specifically dry lock lube. So we're going to put our little holes in here. And there's certain points you want to get. You want to get around the hasp on both sides and here where the key goes. It is wet when you spray it on, but once you get it on, then you, you just work, work the hasp a few times, work the key a few times. That works a lot, it's working a lot smoother than it did when I first took it off. Wipe off the excess off the outside. And there it is, the lock's ready to use. So, a can of air, a can of lock lube, you can use it on anything. You can actually get the hose inside. But, anything that takes a key. ones on your doors. Probably not a bad idea going into winter. Pretty simple. Just give them a little shot. That'll protect them from rusting. It'll help them help prevent icing this winter so that if you get the truck washed and it's cold outside you won't be frozen out of your truck. Maybe a rag to wipe off any excess. Screwdriver to open the box if they have those kind of covers on them. And we're ready for winter driving. Until next time, this is Bob with Team Run Smart. Be safe.